Hi, it's a nice weather out there. Uh, the temperature is a little better than earlier. It's now 44, and most likely it's going to be 49 or 42 in uh, overnight. Let's see. Today, uh, uh, we are going to discuss uh, gold and crude oil, both for 25th January, Thursday. Last updated uh, the gold position on my channel on 22nd of January. Now uh, it is for 25th Jan. The metal was uh, moving within the range of 2034.70 in 2020. If you look at the precisely on the chart, this is a four hour chart for gold. And today uh, the uh, price came down uh, below the uh, lower range of the uh, lower level of the range that was 2020.25 so what is next for tomorrow well this range provided the uh, multiple opportunity for traders to do the multiple trades and they executed going short on the strength whenever it reached Around 2034, it shows the clear signal of exhaustion, and there you were doing short on the strength. And likewise, uh, around 2020, the support was uh, noticed, and there we were doing long on dip. So we were trading between the levels of the range, upper limit and the lower limit. Now going forward, we are going to see possibility of uh, beer's existence in the market. And it will remain if uh, the metal is trading below 2022.25. Although I see some uh, recovery right now from the low of 2011, but I don't think it's going to go too far. So we'll sit back and look into the uh, bull's effort and see if it breaks above 2022.25, then it may go a little up, but... Uh, we cannot expect a serious efforts from bulls as long as it is trading below 2028.75. So in my opinion, 2022.25 and 2028.75 are the good levels to check for short on the strength. Most likely, you may find the exhaustion around or below 2022.25 so there you can think of short on the strength. And while coming down, if it breaks 2013.35, then you can add more shorts. Well, uh, if it starts trading below 2013.35 tomorrow, then we'll go short below 2008.85. Longs uh, are, are not secure right now, but yes, uh, if it consistent from here like the way it is doing right now the recovery and you find the consistency in bulls and breaking 2022 to 2028.75 then we can think of a daring long above 2028.75 and then your long will be secure above 2034.70 so that's how you are going to trade by understanding the levels having these horizontal lines on my given levels on your chart and have a one hour chart in front of you. Uh, I'm using four hour chart, but for the traders, I recommend one hour chart to better understand the market sentiments. Now it is crude. You were having uh, crude uh, trading signals in last couple of days. And uh, I'm sure you are well aware of the situation around 75.05 and the importance and significance of 75.05 area. Today, bulls were able to break 75.05 successfully and tested 75.60. Despite some volatility due to two important data which favored both bulls and bears to offer multiple trading opportunity and if you look into the data, the API and the crude oil inventory data, both were favoring bulls. But it happens, speculative uh, uh, moves uh, around the data timings. So 
the market was volatile if you look into the uh, some candles you will see a sharp lows and then recovery so that was a brilliant idea for going long on dip and uh, by considering the le given levels anyway it was a nice session i believe offering us multiple uh, trades now for tomorrow we have to check it out uh if uh, the price uh, stays above 75.5 75.25 the way the way it is right now so it is fair to target 75 60 65 again and then the move starts above 75.65 and there we going to target 76.25 to 76.45 that's a long target and uh, we will uh, recommend long above these levels whereas the risk management says while going long above 75.25 or 75.5 you have to have your stop loss below 74.85 and if you are a secure trader you can even have a stop loss below 74.50 because breaking 74.50 uh brings a daring short possibility daring short means having a little bit of risk there so you have to check the life sentiment and the consistency of uh, bulls or bears while getting into your trade and to check the consistency look into the pattern of the candles on one hour chart if you like to investigate further you can check the same uh, time frame in a 15 minutes chart so that give you a little bit idea about the ongoing sentiments so you can think of a daring short below 74.50 and then if it breaks 74.05 then you can have a better and secure short and if uh, it happens with the consistency then i believe it can break break 73.65 also but apart from the short possibilities the current situation favoring bulls so uh, i always try to give you the both options understanding the market because uh, you never know the market so if you are uh, focusing on the given level and triggers then i can uh, i believe you can plan a better trades hopefully these uh, <clears throat> updates will help you in your trading in crude oil in 24th 25th january to uh, 2024 if you like to join us you can contact us 92345276680 for our daily signals for trading in uh, crude oil gold euro usd dow jones uh, s&p 500 nasdaq and uh, uh, for your information we are also providing live market support and especially before the new york opening we try to update you further of uh, uh, the changes happen uh, with the european uh, market and then getting into the us market so uh, us timings in fact so i hope uh, you can find these uh, uh, updates uh, good for your trading if you like it just subscribe share or like my uh, video and and if you like to have more in my videos you are most welcome to comment on the video thank you